Today we have a jam-packed video with several topics we are going to discuss. First, we have a top member of the PPP political party, the government, get exposed in an exclusive video that we are going to play. You need to see this video and listen to what this citizen is saying, oh, this top politician, a doctor, defraud over 10 Guyanese of hard-earned money and the Guyana police force is going to take action. Then we are going to address how the canoe and the Guyana police force bust the biggest drug ring at the Guyana airport at Chedi Jagan International Airport. And you are going to be surprised where this lead to and how many big businessmen in this country is going to get caught up. Two persons already in custody. Then we are going to address this very serious topic. How the teachers then get a huge victory in court and what this means. How the salary is going to increase even though the government is taking the teachers to court. This is a jam-packed session with a lot of topic. Then we have a surprise video at the end you need to see. But before we start with this video, like I stated, if you're new to this YouTube channel and you want breaking and trending Guyanese news, smash the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section because they have a lot of topic we are going to discuss. Good afternoon, everybody. I like to tell everybody something about Ramaya from um, Wim Village. He's a big scamp man. You rob them ten day workers, you collect them pay without them know. You go and sign and collect them, get all pay, then get all not work with them, and you collect them, get all pay, and move on top, you want jail them from top. But anyway, some of them girls are walk eight day and you care and you care them um them pay check inside and you collect ten day money, you pay them girl eight day, eight day money. I tell me if this is a right thing where Ramaya do big PPP man like that's so a scam patient thief in. So me need justice. My daughter and I walk with them since last year and you go collect a girl money, you sign and you collect a girl money and a girl I know. A girl get to know yesterday only what work from I do. I'm off on top of one jail. Well, viewers and subscribers, you just heard the explanation from this dear lady. And more scam man in Guyana is getting exposed. According to what she is saying, Dr. Ramaya did not pay his workers. And this person is no normal person, my fellow Guyanese. He is a person who does get the government contract, a kleptomaniac, can't help yourself when it comes to thieving people money, according to this report. But Dr. Ramaya released a statement and debunking everything that this lady is stating. He is saying that he does not owe this lady amount of money and they take 10 days for get pay a whole host of excuses but the bottom line is the lady did not receive her salary so right now there is a lot of money going around with this government contract and a lot of kleptomaniac too even though most of these persons that is getting this contract is well off individual they still trying to take the little bit that the normal Guyanese is having. Leave your comment in the comment section and tell the country what you think should be done concerning this kleptomaniac in Guyana. Viewers and subscribers, finally, in a very long time, the Kanu and the Guyana police force busted two workers at the Chedi Jagan International Airport who was trying to smuggle out white lady tons and pounds of white lady and they were caught in action but the people that want to know who was these two workers boss man that is what the Guyanese is trying to say 
we know the Kano and the Guyana police force is making a lot of arrests. And if, as you could see, the amount of product on the screen right now, these two workers are to be working for somebody. We know how Guyanese thing go. So, they need to arrest the person, them, the top drugs lad, them in the country. So more confidence could be built in the canoe and the Guyana police force. We see it every day. A lot of people being arrested. Yes, that is very good for the Guyana police force and the canoe. They have been performing very good concerning their intelligence work and arresting a lot of people. But Guyanese know when someone big in this country has been arrested for smuggling white lady then we is know that real progress is taking place in Guyana and how they could do it these two workers who was arrested maybe the Guyana police force could go down the rabbit hole and find out who were the suppliers and confiscate the building because that is what we have the canoe for but it might be difficult that they might not want to squeal and snitch on the person who give them this product to put up on the plane and where this product is going but the Guyana police force stop them and canoe before it could meet in America saving Guyana face that is very good very good for the Guyana police force for doing the job and canoe for making this arrest but we need some real big top jobs lad in this country getting arrested the business and the property being confiscated because according to the news that is what the suku is all about but good job to come this is very concerning with the government of Guyana instead of paying teachers the government and Andy Nandalal, who is attorney general, took the gov took the teachers them to court and tried to deduct the money from the teachers them that is striking and tried to take out more money from the teachers do. But the court decision that was made strike down every decision that the government tried to make. So right now the teachers is going to strike and get paid and no much money would be coming out of the dues the government they even want to get rid of corrector mcdonald but this story is still in court but this was a good decision for the teachers for winning this case this case was represented by the government and Nandalal, who is the attorney general and darren wade was representing gtu so the government and gtu was in court and Darren Wade won this decision, won this battle against Anandala Special Council. But it is going to continue. So we are going to see if the strike is going to continue when the teachers are ready or they are going to call out the strike and make a decision behind the scene and come to some conclusion. But why this is so concerning, instead of the government pay the teachers the government decided they are going to take them to court <laughs> that is very sad because we know the teachers deserve more because Guyana is a wealthy country the teachers deserve more all the public servants deserve more so if the teachers then win this battle and get the raise of pay every public servant throughout the country is going to try to do the same so that is one of the reason why the vice president does not want to pay the teachers because you see the domino effect you're gonna have to pay police you have to pay fire service you're gonna have to pay the gdf you're gonna have to pay the possible cleaning the streets so you're gonna have to pay every public servant but the president who is a public servant pay is going to raise also so leave your comment in the comment section and tell the government if they should really raise teachers pay this is Guyanese news make sure you smash the subscribe button for breaking and trending Guyanese content